When we came to Florida, sometime in the late 70s, I never see so very flat land with so much water. friend drive us to discover the eighth county, you know. And we discovered these dotted islands from north to south. We decided that this can be done. All our projects have two distinct periods the software period and the hardware period. The software period when the project do not exist. It is only in the drawing and the sketches and the presentation we use to get the permission. During that software period, the project developed his own identity. We do not know what is around the Thailand when we start. And these three years we learn what is around the Thailand. And this is that, through that software period, the project build the energy and the expectation of the public. And this is why the hardware period when the physical material moved to the space, start to build a project. The project developed something that I don't think any work of art has. For months of months, so years and years, thousand people try to think how the beautiful the project is. A thousand people try to think how the awful, ugly the project is. There are not any work of art discussed before the work of art exists. This is for the first time we were in court and federal court of the United States to get the permission. The process was very controversial, very complex, and very, uh, very difficult. Sorry, sorry, we disturb you. No, this is a great honor. It's a Not honor, honor, a pleasure. I'd love to meet thing. you. No, really. <laughs> it's, it's okay, we can go now? Yes, yes, yes. please. Yes, go, ahead. go ahead. <laughs> In 83, Miami was a pretty rough place. You know, a lot of the people in the city were, were migrating out west away from it. We had a lot of riots in the inner cities, the drug trafficking and the cocaine cowboy days. It, it, it really was a violent time for the city. Christo comes, he does this beautiful art installation on the surrounding islands. People start flocking to the, to the bay, to the causeway. Uh, taking pictures, videos, and it, it, it just, I think it ingrained something in a lot of people on the magic of the city and what it could be in the future when you start investing in it. Some of the islands are called Birkan Islands because there's so much garbage. And I remember to remove 40 ton of garbage in the islands, of cans, cars, um, refrigerate, uh, all kinds of things in the islands. Thank you very much. There you go. Okay, thank you. No, no nostalgic. Back to seeing. You know, like Jean Claude was saying, we always like to be back at the site of the crime. <laughs> I, I try to visualize, you know, the fabric extending, if you see from there, about near um, 200 meters almost in the water. The project is done not by me, Jean-Claude, it's done by the incredible team of professional people. And the biggest part is to create that team. Each island has his own captain. And that captain uh, uh, works with about between 30 and sometimes if the island is too big, 200 people. Before the fabric comes, there are many things to be prepared. At the end of the fabric, we have a 12 inches, about 30 centimeter, octagonal shell boom, who was preventing the debris of the water to come there. And there was a very intricate system of designing that the fabric moved with a tide from the ocean up and down. The one of the most important part of all this project, we never do another surrounded island. Before everything, we have enormous pleasure to have it.
Christo says he won't be making any money on all of this because he will not sell any photo rights to the Surrounded Islands project, and he has no financial interest in Christo's souvenirs. I don't like to be involved with any commercial venture because I, keep, I like to keep my credibility very high and very pure. The, the real water, the real wind, the real coal, the real miles and miles, the real things. This is why this project has that enormous energy, because it deals with the reality absolute.